All right, we're running. The, we're going to work on the power play. All right, we got. We can run three different format uh, personnel groups. So we got power forty six and forty seven. Means we're in two back under the center. We got power thirty six and thirty seven. Means we're on one back under the center. We got power twenty six and twenty seven, which is a shotgun. We can line up the shotgun and run the top. Right, so we're gonna run against over under stack. So we're running against the overlook. Got the strong safety there, got Sam, Mike, and Will. Alright, right there. Alright, we we do it, we can game plan this thing two or three ways. <coughs> You can take the tight end in. Usually we base the tight end. So if we base the tight end, that means we want to stick our fullback, our fullback on that strong safety. So, all right, so it's Mike Wright. Mike Wright. We're going to deuce back, deuce back, block back, picking hands. Guard's going to pull for the Mike backer. Fullback's going to come through and get to Sam, um, strong safety. We're going to run it and try to hit the ball in the A-gap play. Try to hit the ball in the A-gap. All right. Right there. Power 46. We got a back block. We got a pick and hinge. That's a little different. Pick and hinge. All right. When we pick and hinge, we want to zip it in one. One. Zip it. Hitch it one and turn it back and pick this guy up and lock it up. If you've got a three technique back there, you could have the same front, same kind of deal with a one technique here. And a three technique back here, the end and the back. Now the guard's going to inside footwork, tackle's still going to work the deuce to the back. We've got deuce back. Deuce back, deuce to the back side back. So they're going to snap and drop back. Now that tackle needs to step in and zip. Pick hands, pick hands, give a hand, give a hand and hands to try to help choke that off because that center's got further to go than he does on that one technique. If it's a seven technique, we need to make a seven call. Let the backside guard know he's got a seven. That seven may close. The guard has to work around for the backer and we'll kick out the strong safety. So that's against the over front. All right. Come against a 4 3 stack. Damn, can that drawing up on me too? You go against a 4 3 stack. I never pass up color if I'm pulling guard. 
somebody comes off. If they try to deuce this three, they deuce this three, the tackle would go down in too far and a three played cross face. The nine worked out and three played cross face. The guard came around, you gotta clean that three up. The guard's gotta clean up everything and make the hole and stay on the move and get it. Alright? So that's against a four three. Against a four three stack. Right now, we come back with an uh, under front. There's a couple ways you can do this. We're going to keep it base right now. Alright, we're going to keep it base. That means the center's got to block back, but he's got a guy on him. If he's got a guy on him, he needs help, so he'll make a help call. He'll make a help call to the guard. Tells that guard, you got that nose guard by yourself. Help, boom. Now we got a five technique, this is tight end type, we're going to work a tray, we're going to go inside the foot, boom, jack him up, take it, work it, work it, and then you're going to tray back to the backside back. Fullback's going to kick out to Sam, guard's going to kick around, come around for the front side back, and we're going to pick in hand. All right, to Mike Wright. same as the under was. It'll be basically the same as the under front was. Only the center's going to blunt and come back and, and bring that guard down. He's got to make a help call again. We've got another help call here by the, by the center. Tell the guard I need help. i got to go back. The tackle now is still going to pick and hinge. Try to ride that for him. Be ready to come off on that back. You two have that. You got to choke it off. That's one step. That's one boom right there and hinge it right there. One, two, just real quick now. Boom, boom and hinge it. Feed that guy to the center. Center, come back on that four or four eye. Let me know what I got back here. If I've got a five technique back here, the center can be a little slower. If I've got a wide five, I'll make a five call. The center knows, all right, I can hang on that nose a little bit and come back got a five. If he gives me a 4-4 four, four, I, I gotta go, cause that thing's probably gonna pinch and he's coming now. All right, again, we're gonna go inside foot up, boom, tray it, tray back, Mike right, full back kicks out, guard pulls around. All right, power 46 and 47, okay? Power 46 and 47. That's a two back power. It's a two back power. The ball, we want the ball to hit the front side A gap. We want the ball to come down in that front side A gap right there. That linebacker runs over the top. We pin it out. We get this pinned off if I'm the tackle and that backer's there. You got a wheeling. A lot of times we get that pin down, that ball come blowing out right there. All right. The one back power, power 46. And 47. It's a gap scheme. Gap plays. It's a good complement to the zone. It helps us a lot of times when we've been running stretch and them damn guys are wanting to run out of it. It just gives us a thing that we can come off and double team his ass and get him moving backwards a little bit. Alright, now we're going to go to another, to the next one. Power 36. Power 36, so it's a one back power. So if one back's back there, it means one back's running the ball. Alright? We get an over front. Alright, we get an over front. Alright, now, we lost the block. We've lost a blocker back here to do it. So the tight end's got to stay in. We're going to have to try to get the wide out on the stance, strong safety, or a motion this guy across and get a motion guy on strong safety. We're back, we're, we're a blocker down. But we're also spread out a little bit wider, so they've got to widen out to get us. Again, Mike Wright. Going to deuce back, block back. 
So Mike's right. I know they're due some back. I can pick in hens. I can pick in hens. The guard's going to pull around. We're going to open up and try to stick it in that one get a gap right there. That backer plays out, and we get that backer plugged and plugged, and we get that. That ball come blowing out right there. Right there. Okay. Power 36. Block back. Don't need to make a help call now because I have, need no help. They've got deuce back over here. Deuce back. Deuce to the backside back. I can pick in hands. I can pick in hands. Now, if this wheel backer would cheat in and get in a hip position, I don't know if we want to pick in hands. We want, we'll probably want to treat that like the backside of the zone. Like the backside of the zone. We're going to come off inside. If he loops out, work up and do on the sift, sift it up to that wheel linebacker if he loops out. If I come off inside and he jumps me, I lock up to him and let the backer go. All right? Now, if we do an under front, Let's go to stack first. We'll go to stack first. Let's just say they stay in there and they play us now. They play us seven in the box. Well, I've only, I've only got six blockers. I've only got six blockers, so I know he's got to block him. Boom. I know the center's got to block back here because the guard's pulling. Okay, I know that for a fact. All right, now the guard's pulling for that first front side linebacker. All right, the guard's pulling for that first front side linebacker. All right, so we got to call Mike Wright. Mike Wright, now we got to, this gets just a little bit confusing. Mike Wright, the guard's pulling for it. Now we got to go deuce, deuce Mike. We got to deuce to this stack linebacker. So we go deuce Mike, deuce Mike, Mike right, deuce Mike. That means now we're deucing that block back. He's the closest. Now this tackle can't pick in hens. He's got to go in and get the cutoff block on the wheel linebacker. And we've got to let this end go back here. We want to hit that baby right there. If that Mike runs over the top, when you deuce off, that Mike runs over the top, pin his ass out. If he plugs up inside, you got to stay on it and you got to come off and get him, and then the ball will go outside. If the mic runs over the top, the ball's going to come inside. So we're going to run off of this mic linebacker. Mic runs over the top, ball stays inside. Mic plugs up inside, ball severe outside. Got to get a good ball set here on this backside of one technique. Got to go through. If you have to run stretch principle, you have to run stretch principle, that means go to the middle linebacker. Go to the middle linebacker to get the wheel linebacker, that's what you do. But take a good aim. Take a good aim. All right, now, we run an under front. All right, now this gets a little tricky here. There's a couple ways you can do it. We've done it two or three ways. All right. Now, we know we've only got one back back here and he's running the football. Okay. We know this guard is going to skip out and come around and trap that back. Well, if that's the case, then we, we've got to change, we don't have a deuce or anything over here. We don't have an ace or a deuce. So now, this tackle has got to know it's under. He's got to base that five with a tight reach. He's got to base him with a tight reach. All right? So we've got tight reaches here. This is really a good complement to the uh, stretch play. Boom, tight reach, tight reach, especially if they're hauling ass on them. Okay? Now, We've got to try to get off to the backside back. All right, so we're going to step, come down here. Center's going to snap, stretch, work up to that backer, the backside guard. Tackle's going to cut the three technique. We're going to tighten the split down and whack that three technique. Right there. Going to come down there and whack his ass. Okay. 
Now we can do it that way, which we call choke. That is a choke. We can choke it. The choke technique helps the center step over here almost like the T play, block it just like T down, step to the three and come here choke that off. Only thing is your guard's not inside the foot driving like the T play, the tackle's come down. So if he pinches, I got some body presence there to help. Now, if we feel good, if we're good at tackle, and if Rodney's out there, we feel like he can jump down there, whoever's out there at tackle, we feel like that tackle can handle that. We feel like that tackle can handle that guy. Then we've got the backer and the tackle. We're basing that. We know the backside guard's wrapping for him. We've got a shade. We've got a backside backer. We've got a three and an end. If we know that he can handle him pretty good, we feel good about it, then we can come off and we can ace this back. So we can go ace back. We can go ace back or we can choke. We've got two techniques we can use on that. Choke or ace back, however we want to do it. All right. Sometimes when you choke it, you step here, or you go this way, you get a little bit more bite with that nose guard that makes that block a little bit easier instead of sitting there trying to dig it out. We'll see what we think we're the best at doing, and that's the approach. We'll go with it. Okay? So that, that's, that's the under front. That's the under front on All right, now, we come back and we've got Oki. We've got pure Oki defense. Now you've got no choice. You got on front here. We know that that guard is coming around and taking that linebacker, just like he did against that Oki front on that side. All right. So the guards come around. So that tackle and the tight end, they again will tight reach on base. They will tight reach on base. Now we will definitely, there's no choke here. Now we're definitely up, keyboard work through the hip. Now we're definitely an ace back. We're a pure ace back. Backside tackle, you gotta play it however you feel. If you gotta run block him on a tight cutoff, then you use a cutoff block on him and take him. Right back here, we pull it, we come, we hit the ball in the front side of the All right. So, the Oki front from the guard over, from the guard over is all the same. The backside guard's the same, all right? We've got Mike Wright, Mike Wright. We pull and go with it, all right? Here we got Mike Wright. All of these are pretty simple. The one that gets just a little confusing is when you've got stacked defense. All right? You got stacked defense, and we're putting the guard on the mic back. We're declaring him the mic for the pull. Just like we did here, Mike's right. I right, pull it, you take Mike. Mike's right, pull it, you take Mike. Okay? All right, now, that pull forces us into a deuce mic. So we end up having two mics in this thing. Kind of a little confusing there. But the backside tackle has to know, okay, Mike's right. Mike's right. But in common sense, if Mike's right and they're going to pull away, i got to get my answer and get that. Three linebacker scheme. If i got a three linebacker scheme in that box, my tackle's got to go. So if I'm sitting here and I'm a tackle, I come up here and I get a Mike Wright call. But it's a two linebacker box. Mike Wright. All right, deuce back, picking hands. All right, I get a three linebacker scheme. Mike Wright, deuce Mike, three linebacker scheme. I gotta go get third linebacker. I gotta go get third linebacker. That right there is just puts you a little star by. That's a little bit of a booger bear right there. I'm knowing who we gotta go get, who we gotta get to. Okay. All right. Now, let's cover it with the, with, the, with the split back gun. All 
are we getting a gun and we want to run it power 26 or 27 basically we're all the same only we're in the backfield we've got this so we go over front Mike right Deuce back, block back, pick and hen, base set, kick the pull around there, hand that baby off in there and let him go. So it's the same, same blocker for us as it was everything in, in, in the in the 30s. Alright, here, we've got one back running. We're going to deuce Mike, base, block back. Wrap to Sam, work through to the wheel. So we block it. One back runs a one back run. You can get shotgun or up underneath center, doesn't make any difference. You got the under front. Depends on what scheme we decide to use that week. Alright, we're coming in there, we're gonna base, base tight reach that. We can either ace back, wrap, skip to wrap choke it down, I mean, or cut it there, or we can make a choke call where the center's gonna work it like the T play, and the center and the guard's gonna stay on it from where the hill. It's either way, we can either ace back, or choke. If we get good enough, I'd like to choke. I think it, I think it takes the pressure off that backside tackle a little bit. I think it makes it a little bit easier. We do that, and that nose guard takes one step, and it makes it a little easier for that guard instead of us trying to have to try to knock their ass out. Of it. Now we get to Oki. Again, we got an Oki front, but we know our guard skip and pull on that. Base tights reach here. We're working now pure ace back to that. Tapper's locked up on that right there. All right. So we go with. If I'm the guard, I want to go. I want to go inside foot here, left, right. If I'm his right guard, I want to go left, right, straight off, left, right. So if he spikes, if he spikes, I catch him with my inside step and take him, tackle T boards and works off to the backside back. We the whole key to drill on this power play is get movement on this fucker. Do not be in a hurry to get off. Here, let's knock the shit out of him. Displace him if you don't even get up. If you knock him back two to three yards, you don't even have to get off on a backer, I promise you. I've seen this play where they've doubled that. This guy steps out, goes, this son bitch here runs over the top, and that thing hit right in there and just, just gas it. Just gas it. All right? So that's our one back power play out of the shotgun. Out of the eye or out of the one back. So we can run it. Power 46 and 47. There's two backs. Backside tackers picking and hinging. 36 and 37 and 26 and 27. We're in one back principle. It's all the same for us except the center shotgun snapping it back. And we're running that baby up in there in the gun. And now we're reading this backside in. So if he wants to close the quarterback, and pull it around. Okay? Everything's the same. Alright, that's the power play.